Good day, and welcome to another episode of Masonic Curators. I'm Keith McKinnon, and we are still here in the beautiful Norwood Masonic Temple. Uh, we have a couple more episodes to go, but today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, something that perhaps most of you collectors or even Freemasons may not have known that it existed because we really don't use them anymore. Um, and that is, let's see if I can get a good one here, uh, matchbook covers. Now, as I am talking about these items, we will have photographs of the numerous matchbooks that I have here today, as well as some other ones that I will be talking about. So you all be happy that you're not gonna see my ugly puss on this entire video, but you're gonna see these things here. Now, these are great little pieces of advertisement. Um, some quick research that I did on them. Uh, I believe they were invented around the early 1890s when the flat match was invented. Uh, they came, became really popular in the uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, I would say even in the 70s, because I remember these as a kid, uh, we would have them all over the house. Uh, we find them in supermarkets and in hotels and whatnot. Um, I consider them like mini billboards that you would carry around in your pocket because basically that's what they were. Now, there were a number of businesses and companies and, and other things that advertised on them. Um, and I found ones for hotels, restaurants, amusement parks, even Walt Disney Resorts advertised on matchbook covers. Uh, various trades, plumbers, electricians, carpenters. Sometimes it may be one side um, that have one advertisement for a specific company or business and then the other for another one or the entire uh, side of the card. And then sometimes even on the inside would have some sort of a saying, information and or another ad advertisement. I found ones for auto dealers, supermarkets, various stores, uh, trucking businesses, world fairs. Um, I even found one about men's wigs. <laughs> um, of course, advertisement for cigarettes. And I've also found one on a funeral home. Now this, something you wanna think about with advertising on a matchbook cover for a funeral home. But we're not gonna talk about those type of matchbook covers. We're gonna focus on only the Masonic. And I have five of them right here today, again, I have pictures for them so you can see. Um, I have uh, Gillian Lodge, which was in Everett, Massachusetts. This was the short book, Small Heads. And then we have one from St. John's Commandery Number no. 1 uh, from Providence, Rhode Island, which this was the normal size. I have one for the 150th anniversary of the Grand Royal Chapter of Massachusetts. Scottish Rite Building in Washington, uh, in uh, Seattle, Washington. And I have a really cool one, which I can't believe they made one because I can't really sing giving one of these things to a rainbow girl or a demon lay boy and say, go ahead kids, go out and light up. Um, but they made them and it's got rainbow on one side with the Masonic square encompasses in silver. And then on the other side as order of Dem um, I'm sorry, the order of the Eastern star and then on the inside, it says, D. Malay appreciates your support. These were given and made for various reasons. Um, the oldest one that I found online, and I believe I took a image of that, is 1934 uh, from a Masonic Lodge. I believe down south somewhere, they were advertising about a barbecue that they were gonna be putting on in Pacific Day and that the proceeds would go towards their charity or their relief fund. Um, so Masonic Lodges advertised on them. Uh, I found one that talked about secret societies that we supposedly are. Uh, that actually gave you the lodge name, the lodge address, and told you what day of the month they met. Um, these were probably right around the sign-in area for the Masons to come in for the meetings. Uh, they might have had an ashtray or a bowl full of them. What a great way to give something to a visiting brother uh, that actually told you the phone number, where the lodge met, the name of the lodge, and what day. Um, 
I've seen ones for the Order of Reason Star. I've seen ones for various um, uh, Scottish Rite bodies. We will have a picture of one that has the entire Scottish Rite Cathedral uh, on the uh, front of the card, on the uh, matchbook. Um, I have seen them for uh, Masonic Service Clubs. I've seen them for the High 12 Club. Uh, as I mentioned, various Masonic temples advertised on them. Um, a number of our Grand Lodges advertised on them. The George Washington Masonic Memorial advertised on them. Um, various Masonic clubs, Scottish Rite, uh, the Order of Eastern Star. Um, I've also found one that was a local uh, Masonic group called the Masonic Auto Club of Massachusetts. Um, I've seen ones for uh, the Masonic Casualty uh, Insurance Company, which was a uh, insurance company started for basically the Masons. A number of fraternal organizations had these insurance companies, and ours was one of them. I believe was ours called the Masonic uh, Casualty and Insurance Company. They advertised on them. I found one from a jeweler's. Uh, business that actually advertised that he carried Masonic jewelry um, and I've also found some that were I consider the most prettiest ones uh, from the shrine uh, various ones from the uh, number of uh, mosques that are in the United States um, and I think I have a picture of one that's really pretty they use the green, yellow, and red colors on both sides of the covers with the shrine emblem on it. Now, great thing about these, um, you could try to see whether or not your lodge, your building, maybe the lodges in your district, maybe lodges in your state, uh, or various Masonic bodies in your state, advertise on a matchbook cover. Um, you can go to the various sites, eBay and some others. They always have a bunch of these on, on auction. Uh, or for sale. You can go to various auction houses. You can find collections for sale. I found them in the antique stores. Um, these are popular or were popular as a collectible. Uh, this is why you will see them flat like this. The remnants of the matches were taken out, staples were removed, and they were flattened because these were for a collector who collected these pieces. And um, I've seen them for various reasons uh, collected. Uh, certain businesses uh, from your own city or towns, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they are, like I said, a mini advertising advertisement. So lo and behold, your Masonic Temple or Masonic Lodge may have had a matchbook made in its day. Um, they are one of the relatively cheaper ends of Masonic memorabilia collecting. Um, they will average anywhere from two to about $25. Um, and again, it depends on the topic, depends on the condition, and believe it or not, it also depends whether or not it is a empty matchbook or a full matchbook may raise the price just because one has the matches and one doesn't. Okay, so, before I end the uh, episode on matchbook covers, uh, to get someone started, uh, Masonic Curators is going to give away two of these matchbook covers. Uh, the others, unfortunately, folks, uh, that we have pictures of came from the internet or the ones that I do have are going to go to our local uh, shrine museum. But uh, we have one from the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry in Seattle. Uh, the green and yellow, and then we also have an unusual one, uh, which is black with silver, uh, rainbow, order of Easter star, and on the inside, Demon Lay supports your, appreciates your support. So if you're interested in attaining one of these, which is free, and we'll even pay for the postage to you, um, once this video was posted, go to our Facebook page. Don't do it on our YouTube channel. Go to our Facebook page, Masonic Curators, PM us, tell me your name and where you live, your address, and you will get both of these free of charge to get you started in collecting matchbook covers. 
Again, the first person gets two of them. With that, we thank you very much for viewing. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook. Uh, don't forget to leave us a comment. Above all, we'd love to know where you all are from. So, you know, if you're from the UK, if you're from, oh, I don't know, Western Australia, if you're from California, click on to our comments or leave a note on our Facebook. Hey, I'm watching you from California or I'm watching you from uh, Canada or I'm watching you from the UK. We'd love to know where you are from. So with that, thank you um, and take care.